catastrophic super eruption would give the world one year to prepare before exploding. We're talking about a supervolcanic eruption. And most of us have heard warnings. Some believe that, for example, Yellowstone eruption is imminent in our lifetimes because it is overdue and it's like a ticking time bomb. Others believe that it'll take tens of thousands of years. Others say that it may not erupt ever again. Uh, but uh, the thing is that we have 20 supervolcanoes, if not more, around the world. One that I've just uh, posted a video about yesterday is the Idaho supervolcano. Most people don't even know about. We even have new findings of eruptions in volcanoes, for example, in Oregon, that people don't know were actually volcanoes. But we're finding them uh, very frequently, new volcanoes. Now, what happens concerning a supervolcano eruption once the activity starts? Some people say it could take two weeks. Some people say it could take a year. This is from the Science Explorer Erica Tenenhaus article. Scientists detect warning signs in the quartz crystals. This is by United States Geological Survey. Picture of the volcanic ash. The worst explosion on Earth in historic times was the eruption of a volcano in Indonesia called Mount Tambora in 1815. It killed thousands of people instantly and led to a year without summer in 1816, which resulted in famine and civil unrest worldwide over the next decade. As super eruptions go, Mount Tambora was a small one. A single super eruption can expel hundreds to thousands of cubic kilometers of magma in just days or months. And according to a study published in Journal Plus One, these devastating volcanic events only give about a year's warning before they blow. Researchers from Vanderbilt University and the University of Chicago conducted a microscopic analysis of coarse crystals in pumice taken from the Bishop Tuff in California, which is where the super eruption that formed the Long Valley Caldera occurred 760,000 years ago. Quote, the evolution of a giant super eruption feeding magma bodies characterized by events taking place at a variety of time scales, end quote. This is what the study lead author Guilherme Gualda said, and he added, now we have shown that the onset of the process of decompression, which releases the gas bubbles that power the eruption, starts less than a year before eruption, end quote. The quartz crystals they analyze are remnants of the original underground magma, and have distinctive rims that are rich in titanium. By making high-resolution measurements of a variation in the titanium, the researchers were able to record the transition from pre-eruptive crystallization to the decompression and crystallization at the time of the eruption. They found that the processes leading up to the blast occurred over a span of under one year. Quote, more than 70% of rim growth times are less than one year, showing that quartz rims have mostly grown in the days to months prior to eruption, unquote. With the possibility of another potentially civilization ending, super eruption, we're talking about a super volcanic eruption, of course, striking the earth sometime in the future, the study offers new insight into the timescales over which such an event would occur. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. 
more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.